Hello and welcome back to God of War played on Boosteroid. I should have aimed for the head. Oi. He's dead. What do you mean? I like this with this. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, come on. We will find a way to the chest eventually. I guess sometimes when you don't think I can do something, but I can. It is not always easy to know what. It's okay. I get it. I'm little. What's that what stone I wonder?
Nope, nope, not the gold. Oh, come on. You've got to see it all. Oh, yes. Well, thank you. To know the Hesla founder is to know the brutal history of these lands. Before the Great Flood, before the desolation, men lived peacefully in Midgard. The dead stayed dead, the Rogr were a rarity, and the youth of use of Seder magic was considered deeply shameful. The Hesla farm there is the old ways, when a man's worth is measured by how well his wings are played. Strength, our highest virtue. There, these are harsh lands, and there are no place for the weak. The strong will prosper in life and in death. Join the ranks of the Ein Herjar in Valhalla. The weak will scrape and suffer a meager existence, joining the ranks of unworthy, the depths of Helheim. Such is the cycle of life, till Ragnarok comes. Harsh, they sound about as friendly as a pack of wolves. Oops. Let's go this way first. It's a shame that they need to look. Lead us all the way around. Uh. 
What happened over there? Where? This is the sun. That ghost son? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! Yes. They used it to smash his face in. They did? Ew. Oh, god damn it. I heard more than one. Stone behind. If Sindri wants it, it must be really useful. Well, lad, weavers have very specific priorities. If it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object. Okay, there's another one up here. Really? What a stupid thing. I'm glad you just went ahead and did that. Thank you. Let's see, do we have anything? Look here. Yes, sir. Looks like another map. Another map? Don't we find something familiar? On my last voyage, my ship was ravaged by Thor's thunder and storms. I had given up hope when the gentle wind of Njord parted the dark clouds and filled my sails. I have hidden my treasure up high where I can forever row of Njord's oarsmen. I don't quite remember what this one is. Okay, I can hear you. Oh, 
person in the passage over there. And right now we have three ways. Oh my goodness. Here. Boy. Sir. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow. Oops. Wait. This goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Hmm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the store. <laughs> I pressed wrong up there. Those are labels, those are treasure maps, those are artifacts. Codex? Ah, this one, I think. Dad, while you were off hunting and pillaging, Granddad raised me, taught and cared for me. I loved him, and you stabbed him in the back. I hated you. But time has a way of changing things. The clan celebrated. They spat on his kind spirit, saw it as a proof of weak leadership. And as much as I hate to admit it, the Hrilsva Farmadr thrived with you at the helm. As a boy, I made an oath to the Nornir that I would avenge him. My skill with a blade grew, and you finally began to notice me. We grew closer, but the Nornir do not suffer broken oaths, not even those made by a grieving child. Their chest outside Fafnir's storeroom, it reminded me of that oath. So the cycle of betrayal continues. You kill the only father I ever knew, but even now, I regret my actions, and am filled with remorse. Forgive me. As you can see, we can thank you. we can get over here and collect this treasure underwater with the boat, which we will do. Mm -hmm. And that's the room as well. Which one? Which one? Which one? Get out.
pretty much just have to pick up. story before. Was I? Oh yes! The real story of Crunia the Brawler. A giant with head and heart of stone. Stronghold. Or I can just tell you the story later. Yes, please. We found your whetstone. Oh! Wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh! Wonderful. Here. For your trouble. Thank you. Ooh, I can't wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. Great. Uh, well, the one we have now is a bit better. Although, health burst on any successful axe hit. Yes, please. Did I equip it? Wait. No. Uh. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it out, he said. I didn't ask for it back. So, I heard you and Brock are kind of famous. Well, you're half right. Whatever did you hear? That you made Thor's hammer. Oh. Yes. We did do that. Mjolnir put us on the map. It was a legendary run. Gods and kings knew our brand. We really did make quite a team. So what happened? Oh, well, that's a long story. Things happened that made it difficult to... Find that certain spark, you know? Inspiration is a fickle mistress. Huh? Oh, enough distractions. You see the mess I have to clean up around here? Sure. But that is where I'm gonna end this part. And I'm gonna upgrade the pommel. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.